In March 1996, 18-year-old Matthew de Grutchy bludgeoned his mother, younger brother, and sister to death at their Albion Park Rail home on the New South Wales south coast. The attack, carried out in a manner described by the sentencing judge as seemingly frenzied, horrified the community. The weapon was never formally identified, but is believed to have been a carjack handle. De Grouchy was sentenced to a maximum 28 years in jail for the murders of his mother Jennifer, his 15-year-old brother Adrian and his 13-year-old sister Sarah. After 23 years, the NSW Parole Authority formally decided to grant him parole in a hearing in Parramatta Court today. Now, 41. De Grouchy was granted conditional release and was told he is not allowed to contact the family of his victims, except for his father, and that he cannot enter the Illawarra and Shoalhaven local government areas. He will be released from prison in August. A close to exemplary prisoner De Grouchy appeared via video link for the hearing and sat emotionless throughout the proceedings. The parole authority found De Grouchy's behavior in custody has been close to exemplary with only two infringements of discipline in 23 years. He has also studied and obtained trade qualifications. The NSW government opposed parole because of the seriousness of the offences and the inappropriateness of his proposed accommodation. But the parole authority found he had done everything demanded of him by corrective services and his future accommodation was suitable and satisfactory. Outside the court victims advocates have spoken on behalf of the family voicing concerns about his release. Should never be released, family advocate Peter Rolf said to Grutchy's uncle Ray Hawleywell, the brother of Jennifer, was too distressed to speak publicly but he had talked to him on the phone after the hearing. Mr Rolf said Mr Hawleywell is very disappointed. The family feel three lives were taken and De Grouchy should have been sentenced to three life terms and should never be released, Mr. Rolf said. Mr. Rolf said Mr. Hawleywell also believes De Grouchy could do it again. He is of the opinion that De Grouchy will also be a danger to society, Mr. Rolf said. I just hope that he doesn't try to contact his uncle or aunt, or any members of the family. The advocates said it was only because of a request from the family that De Grouchy will now be subject to a psychological assessment and support while on parole. Advocate Howard Brown said the pain never goes away for the family. No matter what sentence you give to the offender, we are the ones who get the life sentence, Mr. Brown said. People lose sight of the fact that there are, at any given time, significant anniversaries and dates that we have to cope with, 